Oh, Luca. This is crazy, right? What's happening, Boot Junkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video on home studio setup for voiceover. And I'm not in my booth. I'm in my living room. And there's a reason for that. Uh, what I get asked about all the time is the eyeball style foam filters that go around a microphone. And if you've watched one of my old videos, back when I first started on YouTube, I had my reflection filter. I have one of those SE reflection filters that goes around the microphone. And what we sort of learned during that video is on their own, they don't really do all that much. You have to have other acoustic treatment in your area before those really do anything, anything at all. And so, but what I get constantly, a barrage, a barrage of emails, uh, comments, Facebook comments, tweets, all sorts of things. It says, hey, could you test the eyeball? And the brand name is the Chaotica Eyeball. And I looked, and they're really expensive. The Chaotica, Chaotica Eyeball, for a piece of foam, it's really expensive. And I don't really need one, so I haven't purchased one yet. What I did purchase, though, is its Chinese knockoff brother, the Alctron. Alctron PF8. Straight from China. Took 30 days to get here. I ordered this thing like a month ago, and it just came. It just came. I, uh... I don't have any experience with it. I wanted to put this on here for the first time with you, my booth junkie friends. The idea with this thing is there's a, a thick foam. So this is probably two inch thick foam inside. Peel the pop filter off, show it to you. So inside, you can see that there's, there's uh, foam about two in its widest points, maybe two inches thick. And there's a hole for your microphone. And the idea is you put the microphone in there and you talk into this thing and it should reduce or catch some of the reflections. That's the idea. I don't know if it's actually going to work or not. We're gonna see. Okay, so. The thing to listen for is right now when we're in the room, I'm what I'm this far off the mic and you can hear the room around me. And really what you're hearing is the reflections off these walls, right? My voice is going out this way, hitting the wall, reflecting back there, hitting that wall and coming in. My voice is coming off the sides. It's hitting the window and it's coming back. It's in this lobe of sensitivity around the cardioid pattern where we have to manage the reflections. This covers the back, the less sensitive side of the microphone. Well, we'll see. We'll see what it does. So, sorry. Sorry about the noise. We're just going to slide this on here. Now, the microphone that we're using here is the Rode NT1A. It's on its shock mount. And I will say that it just clears the the bottom of the filter so the filter at the bottom is probably an inch inch and a half thick and the capsule just clears you may have to carve away at this or take your mic out of its shock mount uh, in order to make it fit now i'm going to get it right up close to this microphone the idea with these filters it's my understanding is you want to try and have it catch your voice before it escapes out into the room to try and attenuate the volume so that it, when it hits the walls on this side and then hits the wall back there and ends up in the mic or hits the window and ends up back in the mic that you reduce it. So I'm assuming, you notice I don't have my headphones on, I can't hear it, but as I move away from the mic, I'm sure you hear way more room reflection now than when you get up nice and close to it. I think the idea with these is you need to get up really close to try and catch those reflections. So does it work? You, we're going to find out together. I have no idea. Um, what else is there to say about this? It's, it's, a, it's a piece of foam. My guess, so there's a couple of things. I don't know if you can hear it, but my air conditioning vent, I have a loud air conditioning vent right over there. Can we hear it? It's right Try and point to it. It's right there. There's a, 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 a really loud vent uh, and you can hear it. So what this thing is not going to do, it's not going to attenuate that noise. I'd still have to gate that noise out or 
expand it out or, or something like that to try and get that noise to disappear. This is not going to handle that, but it should handle uh, noise from behind. So I'll make some noise with my hand. This sort of noise. Did it get quieter? Do you still hear it? Simulating just regular noise. Hmm. Interesting. I, I don't know. It, it, I think on its own, my guess is that this is not going to be enough because my voice is still resonating, resonating out of my body and it's bouncing off. I can hear it. I can hear it in my ears. The question is, can the mic pick it up? That's the first consideration. The second consideration is, yes, while this is smaller than many of those reflection filters or the bin booths that people create where they stick their head in a bin, the question is, where does my copy go? Right? I, if, I, if I'm trying to read my you know, copy, do I do it like this with a phone? Do I have a, a, a mic stand that's way up there? It's a consideration. You have to figure out where you're going to look that your mouth can be directly into this thing uh, so that you're not capturing those reflections, right? I can't, I can't be like this because you still hear the room, I assume. You can still hear the room. So I have to be right up on it. So I have to have my copy here somewhere. And this is largely in my vision. So there's that. I'm going to say that this is probably going to have to be part of a larger acoustic treatment setup. So here's what I, 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 I pre-planned a little aspect of this that I was testing down in my garage. And I want to show you the way I would try and, en and enhance the sound. I don't think that this is going to be a bad thing. I think it probably will attenuate a bit, but we still need to manage the reflections behind us. So give me a second. So for about, I don't know, 20 more dollars, 30 more dollars, I added some acoustic treatment behind me. Acoustic treatment. Hey there, so I'm editing this at the moment, and now I actually do have my headphones on, and I'm listening to what you're about to hear. And it's pretty clear that I'm going to need a lot more acoustic treatment than just the two moving blankets. So you'll hear that there's still a fair bit of echo, reverb, in the room. It gets marginally better, but you can tell I still need a lot more. Just wanted to say that before I go wax rhapsodic through the rest of this video. Thanks. Treatment. And this is about I don't know, $10 worth of PVC, Schedule 40 PVC. There's, and the, the really part of it that, that makes it work easily is you can get these PVC furniture connectors. And they, um, they, they just, they make joints that aren't regular plumbing joints that are good for building things out of PVC rather than doing plumbing joints. So rather than T's, you get these, these four-way and multi-way parts. And so I just bought these. Can you see them? I'll get a close-up of it. Uh, you get these, uh, these uh, sort of three... Uh, three entry points that you can make a, a nice cube shape out of it. And I just hung moving blankets on now. These could be comforters. These could be things you probably already have in a linen closet somewhere, assuming you have got some extra blankets for the winter. You might have an extra blanket or two that you could use behind you. Now, as I listen, and this is, I don't know, this is a foot behind me. I already hear significantly less echo. Now let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna snuggle right in, right in. So my voice is still going out, but I've got it about, these are 30 inches. This is 30 inches on each side. So it's, it's my voice is still going out, but the reflections that are going off to the side have to make it past this filter, or if it's going all the way to the back, it has to go past that, past the wall and go through this twice. And this is just a moving blanket folded in half and then doubled over. So I've got four layers of moving blanket here, just draped over. Moving blankets on Amazon are, I don't know, a few bucks. These are ones, these are old ones, but you can get clean moving blankets 
for a few dollars, and they have them in different weights, and just the heavier, the better. Get one-inch Schedule 40 PVC. Now, knowing that this helps, it makes sense that you could build two of these and have another one right here. And then you've got a booth that you could walk right into. And you notice that it fit this PVC fit under the couch. It could fit under a couch, in a closet, under a bed. It's portable. You could take it down. It's not portable in the sense that you could take it on an airplane very easily, but you could definitely set this up, record, and try and and then put it put it away when you're done. This is not perfect, right? You can I can still hear a little room. You probably are still hearing a little room in, in around here. So this is not perfect, but this was this was probably I don't know 25 30 bucks bucks plus this, so a total of $80. If you did two of these, you could probably do it for 60, you could probably do it for a little bit less. PVC is really not expensive. It's a couple of feet uh, a couple of cents per foot, maybe 10 or 12 cents per foot, depending on the thickness that you get. Uh, but you could make two of these. You could make this into a cube shape. The most expensive part is the is the little furniture adapters. And that's the part you'd have to source and have shipped to you. But they're like a dollar or two a piece. So you got to get, you know, 10 or 12 of those, whatever it is to make the cube or the shape that you want. One inch or inch and a quarter or inch and a half uh, schedule 40 is going to be strong. This is three quarter inch schedule 40. And it's flimsy, like the weight of the moving blanket could tip this over. So, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of practice. And it, at this point, it's experimentation. I just threw this together. You saw, I'm just, I'm winging this one. My guess is I needed to block the sound from behind me, but I could make these longer. I could have it come around me a little bit more. You want to make it so that it, it, you could make it taller and have some come over you if you're worried about reflections off your ceiling. But this by itself, I don't think is enough. You have to add treatment from behind you. I think my opinion is from behind you to keep the reflections that are coming off the walls behind you from getting into the sensitive side of the microphone. This is all well and good, but the microphone won't hear anything coming in, coming in this angle anyway. So why do I have a ton of foam blocking this? It's not very sensitive from here. The thickest part of the foam is covering the least sensitive part of the mic. So while that may capture my voice from going out into the room, by holding it in the little eyeball thingy, it's not a panacea because your voice still is going to bounce off. So you do have to add a little bit of surround. That's what I have for you. Did this work? I'm going to put my headphones on and go see. I'm dying to know. I literally just opened this thing minutes ago. Uh, so I'm really excited to see if this works. My guess is this is going to be the important factor. You still got to deal with the traffic outside. Can you hear that traffic? You still got to deal with that. But hopefully this is inspiration for creating a, 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 a portable booth that you can put up and take down that will get you good sound, not great sound, good sound, but will allow you to maybe book some work so you can start saving money so that you can improve on this. This is not the end. This is the beginning. And you can improve on this. Better blankets, change it to OC703 panels that hang. You could do lots of, lots of things. The idea is start, experiment, try again, and move forward. I hope that helps. Now, Go get some moving blankets, buy an eyeball thing if you want. I'll link to this on eBay if I can still find it on eBay. I'll link to this one. I don't think, I didn't see it on Amazon. This brand, Alctron, has some things on Amazon. I couldn't find this thing on Amazon, but if I could find a listing on eBay, I'll send you to it. But, you know, they shouldn't be too hard to find. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Now, go put together some sort of portable booth and record something amazing. And I'll, I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Good luck.